This all started when I saw a fellow filmmaker by the name of Tom Webster who posted an incredible photo of a volcano in Guatemala. And then I thought, I want to see a volcano erupt. And Guatemala is only a plane ride away. To me, the math added up, and there was only one solution. Go to Guatemala and see a volcano erupt with my own eyes. So, I did. Welcome to Guatemala, a country rich with colorful culture, unique traditions, and astounding landscapes. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Volcano Fuego. Now, Acatenango itself is very much active. It just hasn't erupted since 1972. But Fuego, which is right beside Acatenango, erupts every 15 to 20 minutes. And this is what I wanted to see up close and with my own eyes. This is why I came to Guatemala. To me, it's a privilege to be able to do these things because I know so many people don't ever get these opportunities to do so. I'd like to thank Guat To Do for showing me around Guatemala and supplying this experience because I wouldn't be able to do this without them. All right, it is currently 9.14 p.m. Um, I am packing up because tomorrow we'll, we will be doing the Acatenango hike. Haven't really done much prep or training. I'm kind of just hoping that I uh, am kind of fit. At this point, I didn't really know what to expect. I kind of just bought a ticket and wanted to be surprised. We're gonna summit. A volcano tonight. Luckily, my friends from California came up for a few days just to do this hike with me, and I love them for that. It's my little tree house. How are you guys feeling? Tired, nervous, scared. Oh, I'm feeling ready. She's ready. I'm a little nervous. Oh, i guys feeling? Not prepared. My neck hurts, everything hurts. My back hurts. We start to make our way up, slowly but surely. This is my son, his name is Toto. He's gonna hike this volcano with us this, this fine day. Toto. 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 And for me, I quickly realized that bringing camera gear up a volcano would be the death of me for this trek. But I was so determined to capture this adventure, and that's what kept me going. This is how far we've gone up. I'm dying. How are we feeling? Dude, that's freaking gnarly. We're going to go 0.7 into this hike. I'm sweating like a... I'm the dust. Yeah, the dust is, dust is killer. Get out of here. Actually, this wasn't easy at all for me. I had to take multiple breaks in between all the group breaks. But I guess all that matters is that you keep going forward, even if it is at your own pace. And if you do this, eventually you'll get to where you want to be. How are you feeling, Jared? Uh, you know, I'm tired, but um, we're men, so we get through it. And women, so women get through it too. Lunchtime interview. How's it going so far? I'm dead. I'm dead. That was long. Hard. It feels good. I don't know. I just can't stop slipping. Yeah, wrong shoes, both of you if guys. I, if I had hiking shoes, I'd be powering up the hill. I got hiking shoes and I'm burn, not powering up. It doesn't up. burn just yet. But my back's not as heavy as your guys'. It's going to be worth it on top. I hope so. 
The last stretch seemed to be the hardest. I knew I was so close, but at the same time, the path just continued to steepen. But as I looked around and saw that I was above the clouds, it made me realize how far I've come. And after what felt to be like a never-ending trek, we finally made it to base camp. And let me tell you, this feeling of accomplishing something challenging, it just never gets old. volcano which is another two hours or so to summit fuego i actually learned that it would take around another four hours of hiking not knowing how difficult it would be i said why not but this part of the trek proved to be the hardest with only a few amount of headlamps and limited energy we started our trek as the sun continued to go down Right here, you can see a faint trail of lights, which is where we'll be hiking. And while most people were coming down from Fuego, we were starting our hike up. After a few hours of some of the most intense and steep trails, we made it once again. I just climbed a volcano, and now I'm about to see it erupt right in front of me. And it's funny to me that for 12 hours, we hiked and sweat for the 20 minutes up on that volcano. But it's these crazy things we do for ourselves that make us feel alive. No, don't scare me. And maybe it is a cliche to say this, that the journey is just as important as the destination. But when I look back, of course I'll remember that I climbed a volcano, but anyone who struggled before knows that the most rewarding part wouldn't be as rewarding if there wasn't a struggle in the first place. So in this case, I'm grateful for the journey, because how else could I truly appreciate getting to the top? All right, what's up everybody? It's Keone here, and as you can see, I am back in my little tree house here, um, right outside of Antigua. And I don't know if you can see it, but if you look past me, those mountain ranges over there, that is where Akatunago is, and that's where I was this morning. It's crazy to me that I went all the way up there, along with my two friends, of course. Um, but we went all the way up to Akatsunango and then we, we summited Fuego, which was super awesome. Um, I will say this was definitely one of the most challenging treks I've been on physically and mentally. Um, but it was so worth it because seeing a volcano explode has been on my bucket list for the longest time. And... Um, we saw it. We saw it last night, so that was awesome. We couldn't have done this without our friends over at Guatu Do. If you guys are ever in need of transportation services, lodging, guides, and you know, tours, they offer over 150 tours all over Guatemala and even southern Mexico, Belize, and Central America. Um, so shout out to Guatu Do. Couldn't have done this without you guys. Me and my friends had an absolute blast scaling that volcano, and I'm sure you guys will too. So, thank you for watching. It's been such an epic time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.